Hey guys, how's it going? It's Market Scraper. So Tesla has been recovering a little bit today because some of the false narratives are finally starting to crumble apart. The S&P 500 also hit a very important area, something that we were exactly expecting to see that would happen in the near future. And I'll get right into all of this now. But before we get into this video, if you get any value from this content, don't forget to put a smash down on that like button. It really helps this content, helps other people see this video. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free to do, and I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so Tesla stock right here. We can see that today we gained some ground with Tesla stock to the upside. We were expecting to have a recovery from yesterday's bad news that we heard about and the fake narrative that was blaming and pointing the finger at Tesla. And finally, we're seeing facts and people are coming to their senses how this is not really a big deal in the grand scheme of things and how this wasn't Tesla at fault per se. So we can see Tesla starting to recover a bit. And we are also thinking that we could see a run up for earnings that's happening on the 26th. So that's something that we're going to be paying attention to. We want to also be paying attention to a couple different things. First of all, the ascending triangle that we have been watching here. So we have to be paying attention to that. But one other thing that I want to be paying attention to that is not necessarily the ascending triangle right here. It's actually a broader pattern that could be explaining a few different things as well. For example, we have these highs from over here and we have something that's starting to coincide a little bit. For example, if we connect the two previous peaks essentially over here. This could be explaining some price action and where we're also seeing resistance as well. We broke a little bit above this, but this is a line to pay attention to because we're just trying to project a little bit where we think the stock is going. And this pattern of this ascending triangle pattern is where we think at the moment, but this is another line to pay attention to and that could be acting as resistance in the near future, especially if we don't see move all the way back up to, for example, this line up here. If we don't see a move all the way there, it could be because we failed to go all the way up here and we hit resistance before then, which has to do with this line of resistance that we are seeing over here. So we want to be paying attention to why it might be we actually don't make it back to this 780 necessarily. So we could see some resistance right around there first, and then maybe possibly after that, make our way to the bottom of this channel here and hit the bottom of our ascending triangle before possibly breaking out to the upside. This is something that I'll be watching out for. So let's talk about the S&P 500. I've been talking about with the S&P 500, basically we had this bull flag over here and then a breakout. And my initial target was 415. And I talked about there is a technical target and basically a argument for around 420. But I also mentioned before we get to 420 or maybe on the way or after hitting 415, it wouldn't be surprising to retrace and retest the breakout line because we do know from the past that there are a few things going on. Basically, we failed to break out a couple times and this is the moment of truth right now. Will we gap down like we did over here? or completely collapse like we did over here? Or will this time be a little bit different? So we have to be aware of the potential scenario of gapping down below this line and seeing some pain possibly if history has any implication. But you guys know my bias. I've been expecting a move retesting this line here before breaking out even further to the upside. This is my bias, as it does not mean that I'm right, but this is where I am leaning. So pay attention to where I think we might be going. But in reality, we have seen some historical reasons to have some concern, have some caution. Why wouldn't it be the most crazy thing to gap down below this line tomorrow? So this is the bearish scenario that we have to be watching out for, even though we are expecting this line to hold and we're expecting this line and this price action to be different than the previous times and continue to the upside. Well, let's look at Palantir stock. So you guys know that I have been somewhat bearish on Palantir stock in the short term ever since we broke below this line right here. 
So once we broke below this line, I've been bearish and been calling for essentially probably price to go back down and retest the bottom of this channel. We don't know if we're going to actually make it to the bottom of the channel, but we are more bearish until we see some positive price action that tells us otherwise. So some positive price action would start with us maybe going back to the top of this channel, retesting this channel here. It might not be so significant. We think it probably will be because even though we broke out of it a couple times over here, we still respected this channel right over here. And I would kind of expect us to respect it once again on our move to the upside. So we'll see how that works. We s we'll see if we do that. And then maybe opening above it the following day after we test this one last time. Of course, we have to be aware of the fact that we could break below this channel down here as well we have the bias that this should hold and will break out to the upside though that's just our bias this does not mean that this is correct by any means but this is simply what we think might happen and it's interesting and good to have a bias of where price might go and it's good to be upfront of what our biases are because whether you agree or disagree with my premise is super important for you determining your own opinion of where you think a stock might go you can see what i'm saying you can tear my arguments apart and be like okay actually i don't agree i think we're seeing more momentum and we're to see price go to the downside here or if i'm saying with the s p 500 you can be like well actually no, there's no reason that we're going to be breaking out over here because if you look at the RSI and look at all these different indications, prices are probably going to continue down and maybe we're going to continue down at the bottom of this trend. And maybe you're even more bearish and you think we're going to break down below because this was a false breakout. So we're probably going to break below this trend. There are arguments to both sides. And my arguments of where I think price might be going is only one side of the coin. I try to bring in a little bit of both cases, but at the same time, I'm not trying to make these videos super long and try to make them consumable and bite-sized. So I hope you guys got some value from this content. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this and i'll catch you guys in the next one and keep in mind that none of this is financial advice this is just some random guy on youtube drawing some stick figure lines on a chart talking to you guys